Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Today's video, I wanna talk about being prepared for your classes, okay? You can't show up late. You can't show up not knowing what you're gonna do, making up as you go, having your equipment not ready, music, whatever, okay? You have to be prepared. You need to be at your classes 15 minutes early, maybe more. So get there early, have time to set up your equipment, make sure it's all ready to go. Um, be there before the, those early birds show up, okay? They're there because they want to get there early and stretch and talk to you. So get there, talk to them, you know, get to know, you know, what they did that week, talk about their nutrition, all right? So being prepared for class is a huge, huge thing to think about and to plan for. You want to know what you're doing for each class. You don't want to wing it. People can tell when you're making it up as you go because you're feeling stumped and you're kind of like looking around or there's that gap, there's that dead time. Um, people can read it and because your personality is a little more like closed because you're thinking you know you might not be as like you know outspoken and crazy and excited and confident because you're sitting there thinking oh my gosh what am I gonna do next what am I gonna do next now you don't want to have like your clipboard and like look like okay we're doing this yeah okay yeah that oh okay next you don't want to be in it the whole time but write it that day or the week before but Definitely look over it before you get into the class or when you get there early, go, go over it. And once you're get you're good at it, you can write it and pretty much do it. Like when I write my workouts, I pretty I pretty much know them because I wrote it and you know, you kind of remember, but it's there. I always have it, you know, at my little area where I have my purse and my the music connecting to my uh, phone and then I have my clipboard. So if I do need to check it, I, it's there and I can look in and be like, okay, good. I know what I'm doing next. And I always make sure I know what I'm doing next before that next comes. So while they're in the last set of something, I'll go and check if I'm not remembering what I'm doing, and then boom. Now, it doesn't mean you can't go off the page and do things, because that's what training's about, man. You gotta see, like, if they're really into something and they're going really hard, and you know you can get another minute of something else out of them, or drop them down into some push-ups, or, you know, definitely spin off the page, do different things, go with the vibe of the class, how, you know, people seem to be, like, feeling at that time. You don't wanna stick to it all the time. It doesn't mean you have to, but you're prepared, you know what you're gonna do, there's not gonna be any dead time, and, you know, you maybe even have a backup workout in case you show up to the gym that day, and buddy down the hall is using the BOSU balls for his workout and you can't use them, okay? So you gotta like have enough tools in the in the back pocket that you could pull out if you need them. So definitely go there knowing that you might have to change your routine. So if you're there early, you know that you can do that, all right? Cause you might get to the gym that you rent at or the studio or whatever, wherever it is that you do your classes and check the equipment out and make sure what you need is there and if it isn't then you have to like think of something new. Music, you definitely wanna have your music ready. Making a playlist, um, using an app. I love eight tracks, it's like number eight tracks. Um, download it on your phone, find playlists or make your own playlist. So I have my own and I find some that I like. You know, I'll put, you know, you get to pick kind of some tag words, motivational, music, inspire, or upbeat, or dance, or whatever, okay? So having your re music ready for when you get there is very important. So you wanna go, make sure the volume's right in the gym. You don't have to run out later and fix the volume, or you know, if you're using one of those mics, is the battery, you know, ready to go, or is it dead? You don't wanna turn it on, ready to start your class, and they can't hear you, and you notice the battery's dead. So something to check, check your equipment, check your audio, uh, make sure your playlist is good to go, you have all the chords you need. Before you leave your house, I have a, a like a knapsack I have, um, and it has everything I need in it. It has my chords, um, it has a clipboard, pens, first aid kit, band-aids, stuff that you would maybe need. So you have that bag and it goes with you to class every day, so you don't have to worry your timers, you know, whatever it is that you want, your water bottle. Sign-in sheets, having your sign-in sheets ready. You should always have a nice clipboard with a good sign-in sheet, have an email list, um, and be there early to have everyone signing in. As they come, you have them sign in, all right? Make sure you don't leave there without everybody signing in. You wanna know your numbers, you wanna know how many people are coming, and you should have a spreadsheet at home in your Excel or your Google, Google Word, whatever, however you keep your stuff, that you know has everybody's names and when they've come and then also having a spreadsheet with the days of the week and like numbered and how many people were there that day. You wanna know your growth, okay? You wanna know how many people were in your Tuesday morning class and how many were in your Thursday and you can see your growth. Maybe not for short term, but maybe it's for long term, okay? You might be like, whoa, okay, so my Tuesdays, I used to have 30 something people, now I only have 12, like what am I doing wrong? Or you know, do I need to get out there and market more morning people? That kind of thing. So having sign-in sheets and keeping track of how many people you had in each class 
is something to think about, okay? It's a little more work, but you can do it. Just make a couple spreadsheets at home, and when you go home every night or every two, three nights, enter in your data, and then you got it, okay? Because you want to see your growth and know, are you making money or are you losing money? In our kind of industry, it can be tough. Um, when you work for a gym, no, but when you're doing your own thing, you have your own studio or you're renting space like I do, you it can be you could think sometimes you're making money but you're not right the money situation is always tough i don't like asking people for money um but you have to you know try and be strict with it all right have confidence and you're worth it you work hard and you train hard you're worth it so know your worth okay now keeping track with that that little extra work at night putting the data in it's worth it because in the long run you're going to know where your classes are growing or not and train all that stuff in so being prepared with your class with sign-in sheets and uh, email sheet is, is a great way to keep track of that, all right? Coming to class prepared, being dressed, ready, feeling good, make sure you have eaten yourself. You've gotta practice what you preach. You can't tell them to eat and drink and then you're not, all right? Trainers get run down because they're training back to back all day. You have to take breaks for yourself. Make sure you're eating because if you don't have the energy to perform and teach, then your class is gonna suck and people are gonna be like, oh, that was low energy today. As much as your clients might love, love you, they're judging your workouts. If it was a crappy workout, they're going to talk about it. And they're going to say, oh, this is easy today. Like, oh, she's off her game. Or, oh, she kind of looks down or depressed or, like, hunched over today. Like, what's up? Like, because they're there and they come to your classes all the time and they see you. So um, if you're low energy or you haven't eaten or you're bringing your bad mood in your class, your people are going to realize it. So get prepared before you go. Um, get your spirits where you need to get them be and let things go and just walk in that place and be ready to train and kick some ass. All right. So hope this helped you a little bit today. Made you think about kind of your routines and um, being prepared for your class and for your clients because they do notice when you are prepared and when you're not. All right. Even if you think they don't. Okay. Have a good day, guys. Check you later.